Hey, yo! Hey, bathroom, you good in there? Hey, I gotta go. Open up. I gotta go. Hey, man, we need two bathrooms in this house. Alright, what's going on everybody? Good morning and it's the start of another day. It's Tuesday as I'm filming this and it's really the start of the week for me. Yesterday my wife and I had a doctor's appointment for this IVF transfer round number three. The first two rounds have been unsuccessful up until this point. We're on round number three. We just did that yesterday and we are hopeful that everything is going to work out with that. And I also want to thank everybody who's been sending me messages and tweets and leaving comments of encouragement. Folks, that truly means a lot. And this is a very stressful time for my wife and I. So thank you so much for all of the kind words. It's a dreary start to this Tuesday morning. And hoping that you guys can see that right there. I can't stand rain days. But folks, the rain don't stop this show and the show must go on. And it is going on. I'm also using a different camera today. This is a new camera, so hopefully everything's going to work out with this. Our other camera had some major lens issues, and I think it was behind the lens. I don't know how to fix that, so maybe we got to send that in to get that fixed. But we're on our final camera. This is the last camera that we got right now, and we got to make this thing work because we just don't got the money to be going out there and buying no new cameras right this second. I'm not going to talk about money because I know uh, that a lot of people had a lot of things to say about all of that, but... You know, it is what it is. Folks, what we've got going on today is showing you guys this house actually starting to look like something real good. And what I mean by that is, you know, everything that you guys have been seeing thus far has been demolition, tearing down, moving some trash around, maybe fixing a couple of things. You're really not seeing the true potential of what this house is going to look like or what we're hopeful that it's going to look like. But I think all of that is about to change today. And that's going to begin with this bathroom that Brian has been busting his ass on. Folks, what we're getting ready to see today is a major transformation between what this bathroom used to look like. I mean, look at this picture right here. Pink tile walls with that window. That window is gone. That nasty, disgusting tub. The floor that was absolutely in disarray. All of that being the before. And what we're going to see today is definitely going to be where this bathroom is about to be at and just how good this thing is looking. So we're getting ready to head over to the house right now. I know we got to pick up at least the vanity for this bathroom and hopefully this vanity is not broken. I've been reading a lot of comments on this vanity that I ordered online and have been waiting for. And a lot of those comments said that people received this vanity broken. So I'm hopeful that's not going to be the case for us. And so long as this thing isn't broken, oh, this is really going to add to and enhance just what this bathroom is already looking like. So let's go ahead and head over to the house and see what all is going on over there. <sighs> all right. From one vehicle to... Oh, no, Brian, I was filming. From one vehicle to the next from my truck to my other truck, the, to the box truck, and with Brian. What's up, y'all? Hey, we're not gonna run out of gas in this thing, are we? Oh, man, probably, but we don't care. Okay, so anyways, funny story. Uh, the last time that we talked, we had a move that was upcoming over the weekend. Well, that passed, and the move has been completed, and a very special shout out, uh, Lowe's. And a very special shout out to Jellico, Pee Wee, and Jew Man for completing that move. They had to use the box truck. I was cleaning out the box truck in the last video. But when they were doing the move, folks, one of the worst possible things could have happened that did happen. And folks, they ran out of gas. They got the truck all loaded up. They were ready to, to go and went to start the truck. And that thing just wouldn't start. And... There was a lot of speculation as to whether or not Brian put gas in the truck. I put gas in it. Well, they must have just done a little more driving than, than what it was. But it is what it is. You know, when you're trying to make a good impression for a customer, one thing that you don't want to have happen, especially when you're doing moving work, is to have your moving vehicle run out of damn gas. But that's what happened. So I didn't get a chance to show you guys the inside of the house just yet. And I want to keep that as kind of like the creme de la creme of this video. Wait till you guys see it. Matter of fact, wait till you see more than just the bathroom. Wait till y'all see what all Brian's been up to, man. <laughs> Good Lord. We've been getting it. 
we've been getting it since the last video. Man, you have definitely been putting in your Indeed.com resume and really showcasing what this guy can do. You guys are gonna be super impressed. But right now, we're in the box truck because we gotta go to Lowe's and we gotta pick up this vanity for the bathroom. I ordered this thing probably, I don't know, five days ago, maybe a week ago. It's arrived and I'm hopeful that this thing is not broken. I wanna get this thing placed in the bathroom so you guys can see just what this bathroom is really gonna be looking like. Thank God it stopped raining. All right, so we just picked up our vanity. Well, we're picking it up right now. And boy, damn, Brian, I didn't know you were living in the back of the truck. Uh, no, I'm slowly moving out with my girl. Oh, Lord. There you go. All right, so we got a nice gentleman who's gonna be wheeling out this vanity. There she be, right there. It's nice to have a moving truck. Boom. Perfect. All right. Now we just gotta get the ramp back in there. Cool deal. Hey, thank you so much, sir. I know a lot of people are gonna be like, damn, Joe, you could have helped. Somebody's gotta film this. HGTV. I'm gonna need to see all of this. So Brian, can we put that vanity in the bathroom just to see what it looks like? Yeah, we sure can. Damn right. Cause I haven't even got a chance to show people what you've done in there yet and let them critique this tile work that you've done. Oh yeah, wait till y'all see. Boy, Brian is a class A contractor. Hell yeah. All right, let's get back to the house and see what this bathroom really looks like. All right. So thank God the rain has let up for a little while. It's super flooded at the house. The yard's super flooded. A lot of flooding going on in the yard. But we got the ramp down, got the box truck backed up. Shout out to the box truck because that helped us get the vanity in. And real quick, we gotta do something with this. This stuff is more slick than like some rocks in the ocean. I almost just slipped to my death. Right there, boom, coming down. Let me try to not slip and slide. It is that time when it's time to see some major improvements inside of the house. Where's this lighting at? There we go, new camera. All right, a lot of things have changed since the last time that we were over here and saw Brian at the house. And the first thing that I wanna show you before I show you this bathroom is, I wanna show you the laundry area. Folks, brace yourself. This is pretty impressive, but Coming in through the back door, there's the back door right there. And folks, bung. That is our laundry room. Framed, sheet rocked, and ready to rock and roll. We go up inside of here. Now this is not big enough to have a washer machine and a dryer right next to each other. You've got to have the stackable. So there'll be a stackable that'll go in here. I don't think I'm gonna provide that. And then we're gonna have our tankless water heater right in here as well. And possibly a shelf right here. So a little shelf that you can put your, your detergent on right there. As we come out, we're gonna have the bifold doors right here on the laundry area. But Brian, you've done a kick-ass job on this room right here. Oh, that was nothing. Nah. That was just a little half day job. And you know, it's crazy to think about this, but we gotta keep in mind, folks, this floor was sagging, this floor was all beat up, there was a damn water heater right here originally, and then there was a damn chimney right here. There's where the chimney was, right there. And we have freed up all of this room. So the refrigerator is now gonna go right here next to the laundry room, buy full doors open up, you got you a laundry area. We've added another room to the house. That's impressive. So we're still gonna be cutting out this wall to put a window in here once we get uh, sheetrock going on. Looks like Brian's getting ready to be doing some insulation and then he's gonna be hanging sheetrock. That's what you're working on today? Yeah, and then laying out this window. Cool deal. We also need to get measurements on windows. That way we can start getting prices for those. Yep. Cool deal. Brian's on it. Folks, we also got the HVAC system. And a very special shout out to, once again, Brian, who's got the connect on all of this stuff. <coughs> Folks. A brand new HVAC system, the very cheapest you can get one is $1,500.
And Brian got us an HVAC system that's what, like one year, two years old? Yeah, it's about a year and a half old. Still with a 10 year warranty on it. 10 year warranty. How much? What was it? $800. $800, boy, we got them smoking prices. We got those smoker prices right there, folks. 800 bucks. One final thing before we get to the bathroom. Uh, there's the box right there. That was where our vanity was at. Back here, I guess we were having some issues with some electrical. So Brian went and got a new panel box. We're going to be putting the pan a new panel box up here. And it's going to be recessed into the wall, right? Yep. So, new panel box, recessed into the wall. That'll, you know, this thing's an eyesore right here. And there's the new one right down there. I don't want to spend any more time holding up what it was that I really wanted to show you over here. Also, uh, I'll show it to you. Forget it. All right, folks, it's time to now see what the bathroom looks like. Again, I need you guys to see this picture right here. And what you're looking at is the before. This absolutely horrendous bathroom. Floor falling apart, black mold type of stuff on the floor pink walls a window folks this bathroom looks nothing like this now embrace yourselves it's not completed just yet but a whole lot of stuff has taken place and what it now looks like is this our backsplash tile all the way around our tub all the way up to the ceiling our bull nose stopper pieces right here. We've got the new hardware for the faucet. That'll make the, boy, that's really, really nice right there. I mean, look how sharp this tile work is for this backsplash. And then, folks, the floor. Tile on the floor. Look at that tile. This tile on the floor matches this backsplash on this shower that matches not just the tile on the floor, folks, but also the new vanity. Look at that. We got the marble top. That matches that, that matches that. We got the soft shut doors on this sucker. Open this up. It's got a drawer right down here that's all tied up. But there's a, a pull out drawer right there. There's our connections down there. Our backsplash piece right here. We need an individually pieced faucet set right here. Our mirror is going to go right here, light right here, and then folks, down here in this little area, we're going to put some, some shelving, just like the closet that used to be in here, except exposed shelving, sort of, and then the shelving is going to start like right here at the vanity top, right here, and then right here will be like a little, a little hamper, a little basket you can pull out, there's your hamper. And then shelves for towels, shelves for toiletries, shelves for whatever you need. Toilet's going to be right here. And then more shelves, like Brian said, shelves for days. Folks, if this bathroom don't look like a world of difference in comparison to what this place really was looking like when we got it, I think you're crazy if you think that it doesn't. This tile looks amazing here, Brian. And you're probably looking at this disgusting door frame right here. Uh, this brown door frame. This is going to be completely gone. All of that's getting ready to be gone. All of that's coming off. And there's our brand new door right here for the bathroom. Door and door frame. So it's like, hey, yo, hey, bathroom, you good in there? Hey, I got to go. Open up. I got to go. Hey, man, we need two bathrooms in this house. So we got our brand new door. There's the door frame right there. And it's going to look a whole lot better than this ugly brown stuff right here. But again, folks, that bathroom, whoo, 
potential buyers. Can you imagine if that woman would have came and seen it like this? Oh, Lord. Y'all did all this in this bathroom? My God. Quick question about this vent up here. How is that going to turn on and off? Huh? How's that vent turn on and off? Does that tie into that plug right there? No. Right here. You're going to put another plug right there? Um, yeah, I'm going to put a switch right here. I still got to cut that out and drop the vent down because we had to, uh, we had to shim the ceiling down to get it level. So. Right. But yeah, there's going to be a switch right here. What do you think about this vanity, man? That thing is hot. That thing is... How do, how do them young kids say it now? Fire? Liddy. That shit's fire. That shit's some <laughs> yak. I don't know what they say. That's that uh, fire pow pow. The hardware for the shower is all black. We got like this rustic look going in here. So black hardware there. Light set will be black. What about like the cover for the vent? We gotta just leave that white, right? Yeah, it's right here. We could uh, we can always paint it whatever color you want. Can make that black straight emo in this bathroom. Black hardware back here. Black mirror. Hey, that's a TV show. And then uh, you know, black rustic light set right there as well. Hell yeah, this is. I don't know a whole hell of a lot about this, but I'm going to tell you one thing. I guarantee you, this bathroom has already added substantial value to this house. And when you think about what it looked like before to what it looks like now, folks, this shit is damn impressive. Like Negan say, in Negan's voice. And if this bathroom's looking like this already... Imagine what this damn kitchen's gonna come out looking like. Brian, you is a professional. I try to be. Man, you know what you're doing. All right, I'm getting out of here. Appreciate everything, Brian. Yeah, man. Y'all take it easy. We'll see y'all on the next one. Damn right. Hell yeah. Oh, one more thing I gotta ask you, Brian. Yeah, what's that, man? Uh, what, are your what are your thoughts on how you did in that bathroom, man? Are you, are you proud of that? Yeah. Because I know people are gonna be like, man, Brian really knows his shit when it comes to that tile and how all that came together. I mean, it looks damn good. It looks really good, as a matter of fact, that tile. Is that a part of your portfolio now? We did a good job on picking all that out. Oh, that's my wife, so shout out to her. Okay, she did all that. Yeah, the wife, the wife. <laughs> but it's, it looks good, man. I'm impressed with it. You should be, man. This is uh, not something that's easy. Take it from me, I've done tw tile twice in my life, and I know, uh, I don't know how you do it without it being all uneven. That's about the only way I know how to do it, but man. You think somebody's gonna like this when they come look at this house? Yep, that bathroom's gonna sell this house, I bet. The bathroom and the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, well you know the kitchen will, cause there ain't even a kitchen in here now. Oh, y'all got a kitchen now. Hell yeah, I wanna buy this house. Hey Brian. Yeah man. Hey, appreciate you man. Yeah, no worries man, I appreciate the work. Hell yeah. So leaving from the house, and first thing I gotta say is just a very special shout out to Brian. How about that bathroom, y'all? That thing is looking super sharp. As I wrap this up, I want to thank each and every one of y'all for rocking with After Prison Show, for rocking with this Felon Flipper series. I really see some big things in the future for this and am hopeful that, you know, once we get done with the repairs in this house, we're going to be able to sell this and move on to the next one. And folks, houses are starting to materialize as potential next houses. So I'm really hopeful and excited that we're going to get to that point when we can actually get to the next house. A couple of things that I want to mention real quick as I wrap this video up. The last video that we did, you guys were seeing me scrambling around trying to find a couch for my homeboy Connor. I was not able to find a couch, but I was able to go and see Connor. He ended up getting a little love seat, a little used love seat. I think Jellico was even supposed to be getting some things for him as well. I saw Connor's new place. Very special shout out to him. He's got a really nice place. He's now a part of the After Prison Homeowners Club. So that's really awesome right there. And since I wasn't able to find him a couch, I ended up just kicking him a little bit of money as a congratulatory, hey homeboy, shout out to you for what you've done type of a thing right there. Folks, there's a lot more that we've got planned for this week. This is gonna be a really awesome week with a lot of awesome things that we've got coming up. Potentially another cooking video with Jew Man. Also, maybe meeting some new people. And then Friday, Jellico and I are getting ready to go attend a house flipping seminar. So, I'll be really excited to share not only that, 
but everything else that we've got coming up with you guys as well.